Should you buy a super affordable CNC machine? I bought one so that you don't have to. I'll explain everything that you need to know, including the size. I'm getting in trouble with my wife all the time lately. And including whether or not you can upgrade any of the parts and what you can get out of it. I'll tell you transparently what I paid because no one sent it to me for free. And I have the Amazon link if you're interested. I have an X-Car and a Shapiko Carbide 3D. So I can compare two other high-end machines with that and figure out whether or not the investment of $700 minus the router is worth it for you to get into engraving and making CNC products. Also, like all my other videos, I check in with you to ask, how are you doing today? How was your night? If you're struggling with anything, I'm sorry. There's a lot going on in this world right now, but I care about you. And if I respond to all of my comments, I have a live stream at five o'clock, many days. So hit the subscribe button. And now let's talk. This is this inexpensive scenes C machine that I purchased. Whoa. This thing makes me look smaller than I actually am. This sells for $700, but it has the extended rails. This is a Master Pro with a U, and it has a Harbor Freight router with a V-bit on it. So, the, this, well, it doesn't have the V-bit, it has the chuck. Yeah, it has the chuck. So, this is a thing that you can buy on Amazon, and a lot of people want to get involved with CNC. They say, okay, well, let's go ahead and just get a CNC machine. Well, there's a couple things, and the video that I'm going to do next is going to be the Carbide 3D versus the X Carb. I have a X Carb up here, and I have a I have a Carbide 3 down D down here. And what I make is cocktail smokers, I make uh, grill scrapers, and I make things for gifts. And I sell get the file, so you can get all the file. The two things that I mentioned, the files are down below. So, anyways, this router is interesting because. The one issue that I have that you already have seen is the fact that I can lift it up. And when you have something that's light, it's going to create what's called chatter. And the chatter means if you're trying to get everything moving and locked down and all tight, clean cuts, you can't have the machine vibrate or move around. So if you bought something like this, the first thing that you need to do is you meet you need to lock it down which screw each one of the corners down after you assemble it another thing is you'll see that i have a lot of quick ties this particular machine i didn't trust a lot of the carriage um uh, wire guides and i did not trust the way that the things were attached it is going to take some effort is this machine worth seven hundred dollars if you were to look at a used machine right and a used uh maybe a uh, shapeco i call it shapeco it's you know the the word it could be shapeco i'm not sure how you pronounce it you could probably get one of those for a thousand dollars unfortunately it's very heavy it's very big it is very has the rails are much stronger if you really want to do intricate hobby work where you just do a little plaque or you do anything else like small like this this machine may be the machine for you however you're going to have to upgrade some things and those things that you need to upgrade are is before you put in the rivets i mean the allen screws that will, will be here make sure you go very slow because if you strip out those allen screws then if they, this came from China, most likely, that metal, Chinese metal, is not great. Uh, the aluminum is pretty good from China, but some of the actual ferrous metal, the actual iron metal, ha is a composite of recycled metal, and it can be stripped. So the two screws that are coming into this router right here that lock this down, this is important that you maybe upgrade those before you put them on. Go slow with the directions. This particular one has all of the tags, which is great. So it brings the number one reason I think you should probably go with something like this is this is an entry level machine that will give you the opportunity to learn Lightburn, to learn. This is Fox Allen and it's a master pro. 
you will be able to learn Lightburn for $700. This is a good entry, but you will have to assemble it. And this is my reason for why it's good to assemble. This is a good machine to start out with. Is it the most quality for $700? I need to review some more. Something that's a small footprint that will not get you in trouble with a family member. I'm getting in trouble with my wife all the time lately. I just built a bridge in the back and she just didn't like the bridge. So I'm telling you, this is a pretty good deal. I don't like some of the things that it's lined up, but I'm pretty handy. So I can re-tap and screw like, for instance, to you about that end right there. This is for the spindle. It is all set up for a spindle and a laser, which is unique. So you can actually add an entire laser to this. So it's a really good hobby CNC kit. The guy that's buying this actually owns one of these, so he's familiar. It does require a power supply, that, which is kind of like electronic geeky power supply. So it's a 24 to 48 volt. This is a good entry level machine. I would try to find it used like my friend, my army friend did. And uh, I think that this machine may get you ready to buy another machine. But like I say in a lot of my CNC videos, you need to kind of nail down two to three things that you want to make and you want to focus in on something that you really enjoy making. And once that happens, you need to merge that with the knowledge of CNC. So as far as an affordable CNC, if you did bought this on Amazon Prime and you got it for 500 bucks, that would be really good because Fox Allen's a really good brand. There's a lot of features like the automatic shutoff, the fact that you can add spindle and a laser. I really like that, but I would really swap out the Chinese uh, Allen screws with better stainless steel Allen screws, which you can order online. Lowe's and all the box stores are usually out of those cool stainless steel stuff. And of course, you need a scrap board a board, a, it's called a waste board, the board that the, your bit is going to go into, um, you'll need that. But anyways, um, whatever you're going through in life, I'm going to let you know I'm thinking about you. Please comment below. You got this. Um, this might be a really good thing to make really good gifts for the upcoming holiday season. So peace out. Love you. And uh, whatever you do, make something that connects someone.